what's up guys it's mariah so we're gonna keep going on with the top five series this is my last one so y'all already know if you have deductive reasoning i'm gonna be doing my top five attractions in magic kingdom so i've said this in previous videos these are my opinion what i think are some of the best rides in each park um, I consider what my favorites are and how popular the ride is. And I just think the, the, that these are rides that most people would ride every trip when they go to these parks. So I'm not going to waste any time and we're just going to go ahead and jump into the video. So the number five ride that I have on this list is the Haunted Mansion. Very popular ride. It's a very uh, classic ride at magic kingdom i love it i love haunted mansion i actually used to be very scared of it <laughs> which is funny um but it's basically like you're going through a haunted mansion very simple and you know you get to see all the ghosts the ghosts and the spirits and things like that so really cool ride it's in uh what land is it in i'm blanking out blanking out i don't even know if that's what i'm trying to say um Liberty Square? Am I tripping? I think it's Liberty Square. <laughs> I definitely think it's Liberty Square. Um, but anyway, definitely this is a ride that you should ride and check out. I Most of the time you can kind of hop on the ride. It's a continuous ride. Um, so I don't think you necessarily need a fast pass for it even during busy times. But please definitely check out this attraction. All right, so my number four that I have is Seven Doors Mine Train. This is a newer ride in New Fantasyland and Magic Kingdom. And you should for sure get a fast pass if you're going to ride it. It's very popular. That's why I put it on this list. And I love it. It's a very, it's a family coaster. And, you know, you're going through the mine with the seven doors. And they're singing. And it's so awesome. It's actually a really smooth roller coaster. Like, smooth. I don't know what they did, but... I feel like every single person that makes a roller coaster ever needs to do whatever Disney did on Seven Doors because it is just like butter. You're right. Like you don't even feel anything. It's so crazy. But it's definitely one that I love. It's popular and for a good reason. I, I mean, for a very good reason. And you should consider riding it if you're going to Magic Kingdom. So my number three that I have on here is Space Mountain. This is a favorite for a lot of people. It's my dad's probably favorite ride ever in all of Disney World or one of them anyway. Um, and it is a roller coaster <laughs> and it is a roller coaster through the dark. So you don't see anything. You can't even see where you're going. You don't know where the drops are or anything like that. It's, that's kind of what makes it fun and um yeah a great attraction obviously and now they re-upped re-upped renovated the queue so it's interactive a little bit and um you know obviously has a space theme so you know the planets and the stars and things like that so really cool definitely one that you should check out if you're a thrill seeker if not maybe you should skip that one out I, and i didn't say previously for seven dwarves it's very tame, but you know, if you're motion, if you get motion sickness, then probably shouldn't ride that one either. Just wanted to give that as a side note. But please definitely consider riding Space Mountain if you love thrill attractions. So my number two attraction at Magic Kingdom is Splash Mountain. This is one of my favorite rides. Love Splash Mountain so much. Um, it is a drop ride. It's a water ride. So you may get wet. No, you will get wet and you may get soaked <laughs> depending on where you are in the ride so just check out my vlog my vlogs previously i think my my stepmom got really wet she i mean it was like she stepped into the shower <laughs> and just with her clothes on so very cool uh attraction it's based off of um briar rabbit that uh cartoon so please check it out if you are in Magic Kingdom and it's in Frontierland. I forgot to mention that. And I forgot to say that Space Mountain is in Tomorrowland and Splash Mountain is in Frontierland. Just for your reference, please definitely check out Splash Mountain though, especially on a hot day. You can't beat it. So my number one attraction to ride to check out at Magic Kingdom is the People Mover aka the TTA Tomorrowland Transit Authority. I'll call it the TTA. 
uh, it's basically a ride that takes you through all of the attractions at Tomorrowland and it just takes you all around all around Tomorrowland and you can also see the castle uh, at one point in that section of the park in Main Street which is really cool if you are quick with your camera you can get a good picture of the castle and it's just a really nice relaxing ride that you can just get on and chill especially if it's a hot day or if you just want to relax and you know you've been riding ride after ride after ride it's a way to just chill and enjoy the day and it is also in Tomorrowland so be sure to definitely check this one out all right guys that's it for my top five I want to know what your top five attractions are at Disney World I mean not Disney World what am I saying at Magic Kingdom <laughs> um yes I want to know what y'all's top five rides are and as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i hope you did enjoy it and please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you know when i post a new video i'm doing this vlogmas thing so i'll be posting hopefully a video every day until christmas so stay tuned for that it'll be disney content some non-disney content and christmas themed videos so be sure to stay tuned i'm continuing also to upload my disney vlogs from my last trip so check that out and I think that's it and I hope you all have a magical day.